Hello everyone, this is Charlie from Garden NFL and in today's video we're actually going to be pollinating some cherry lata flowers. Now cherry lata is a wonderful anona fruit. It is part of the anona family. Now cherry lata is a hybrid between cherimoyo crossed with reticulata, so anona cherimola crossed with anona reticulata. And right here we have the cherry lata tree. Now as you can tell the cherry lata tree is just loaded with flowers and at this moment I caught it with both female and male flowers. Now pollinating the cherry lata by hand is actually quite difficult only because last year I pollinated about 50 cherry lata flowers and only about two took. So cherry lata for some reason has a really low rate when it comes to actually pollinating a cherry lata. But nonetheless, my success came from just pollinating at different times of the day and eventually the fruit set. So in able to hand pollinate the cherry lata flowers, we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need a basic black film canister just to catch the pollen and anything else works, something that's preferably black so you can see the pollen and then a handy brush. I'm just using a paintbrush and this is actually very fine brushes. The finer the brush, uh, the better. So let's get to hand pollinating. So right here we have a male cherry lot of flower now the way we could tell it's male just is because how the petals are actually out towards the outside you could tell they're very spread open and actually right here we can see the pollen of the cherry lot of flower it's very uh, small so we get so we're actually zoomed in very far now to actually get the pollen this is when we're gonna need our film canister and the reason why I just like using the film canister because it's very convenient as you see we can just put it right under and able to get the pollen we just want to gently kind of knock on this and as you see the pollen kind of falls out very easily so we're just going to keep knocking knocking and I want to be very careful with this flower because who knows this flower may have been pollinated uh, some anona flowers around my yard do get naturally pollinated by the nitulid beetles here so I'm just going to keep doing this and uh, try not to knock this flower off could, because like I said there may be a possibility but with the cherry lata you know, it's very unlikely, so. So I wanna show you the pollen that we just got now. As you see in this film canister, you'll see that there's very small grains of pollen. It look, kinda looks like dust right here. Now this is actually the, the pollen that we're gonna be using and we're gonna be scooping on this paintbrush right here. And that is what we're gonna be using to pollinate the female cherry lata flower, which is in bloom right now because it smells very raspberry-like. The cherry lata flowers have very strong odor of uh, raspberries and fruit, kind of like the Lisa Atemodia flower when it's ready to pollinate. So as you see here, we have the male flower and just right below it actually, so as you see, we have the female flower actually located right here. As you see, it was very close. So believe it or not, there's actually a few cherry lata flowers in bloom right now as in a female stage ready to be pollinated. As you see, this one right here is a flower that is in female stage. Now you can tell because if the petals aren't as open as a male flower was, you can see they're still kind of tight and close together. Unlike the male that was right here, as you see just right above it, the petals of the male are just, you know, very wide open and spread. And then as you see the female petals right here are very close and tight together. But we actually have a few more female flowers on this cherry lighted tree. Now there's actually some flowers located actually right back here where my pinky is. This is another female flower that is actively ready to be pollinated. And like I said, there's another one right here, right in front of us that also is ready to be pollinated. And also the flowers right here that are coming, these are flowers that are going to be blooming very soon. So going back to the cherry lata flowers being pollinated, like I said, for some reason, cherry lata is uh, an owner that you just have to keep pollinating a lot of flowers to set a fruit just because for some reason, this tree does not really set many fruit, even when you do hand pollinate it. So that is the only drawback, but the fruit are delicious. So nonetheless, we always want to attempt to, to pollinate this cherry lata. Also, another benefit to hand pollinating your cherry lata flowers is the fruit become more uniform, more round, and you get, you know, just much better uh, meat to seed ratio overall. So what we're gonna do now to collect the pollen is simply, we're gonna hold our canister where our pollen is. As you see, our pollen is just right here. On the bottom it's very kind of hard to see but it's there so we're just going to scrape it very faintly and as you see it's getting all over our paint brushes right there and what we're going to do is now we're going to take the cherry lata female flower and i found it better that if you spread the cherry lata flower open a little bit just because the female is kind of very tight right here the cherry lata female flower uh, squamosa flowers are not the same they're a little bit more wider Okay, so this totally broke off, but who cares? We're actually gonna work with it and just try to pollinate 
the stigma. This is another issue I had with pollinating uh, cherry lot of flowers. In a way, they're kind of like custard apple flowers. They're a little more tighter. So we're gonna go ahead and try with this one, but I'm not sure. We're gonna pollinate the other flower too to see if we can get any pollen on that stigma. So right under here is another cherry lot of flower we're gonna try to pollinate. Like I said, last year I pollinated at least like 50 flowers. And this year we actually have a lot more flowers than 50. So we're gonna be just working with it. And these are actually the first cherry lot of flowers of the tree that are ready to be pollinated and like I said I'm not even sure if these are gonna set but we're gonna keep trying for all the other flowers that this tree produces as you see this is a little better pollination attempt than the other one because we didn't break the the petal but even if you break the petal nonetheless it's still able to actually be pollinated and we're just gonna finish with pollinating just using the rest of the male pollen now tomorrow these female flowers are going to be male so these flowers are going to be releasing their pollen and with those pollen we're going to save in uh, this little canister that we that we're using to collect the pollen and we can actually store it in the fridge for i believe up to three days is when the pollen still remains viable but obviously you want to use it as fast as possible and so that way you can also uh, uh, pollinate other female flowers when they do become available because sometimes you know you don't get all the female flowers and male flowers the timing sometimes isn't always the best but you can also prolong that if you store the canister so if you store this in the fridge and uh, you need the cap on so the cap helps it store longer but yeah overall that is the cherry lotta pollination video the first attempts of the cherry lotta flowers we're gonna keep trying as more flowers become available to us but overall this is just the beginning of the attempts of pollinating cherry lotta so we're gonna see if these flowers take and thank you guys so much just wanted to make this video showing you guys some pollination of the cherry lotta alrighty guys this is Garnafel and I hope you have a good time pollinating your anemones bye bye now